So, you want to make some custom hotkeys? Well, step one, grab a flamethrower and torch your entire keyboard. There. Hotkeys. Hey guys, welcome back to That's by Kai. I'm Kai, and today we are back in Blender once again taking a look at some hotkeys and some things you can do to uh, create your own hotkeys. Uh, and instead of even having to go up to like edit and preferences and like key map and change them all here, because that's no one wants to do that. So, you can do this for quite a few different things, but you can't do it for everything. You do it for most things, many things, but not a lot of things. Um, so we're going to go to the render properties tab here. And I'm going to go down to color management because one of my biggest pet peeves is this view transform filmic. Now, you would more normally have to come here and just drop this down and do whatever and like select this by default. But what you can do as a hotkey is you can set up a, a, a hotkey for this. So you can right click this and then this is going to say uh, assign shortcut. So what you can do is you're going to right click on whatever thing you want. This uh, typically works best with boxes. Doesn't really work with value sliders. As you can see, there is a no option to insert a shortcut. Uh, so this is pretty much only for these boxes here, these drop down boxes that actually have choices to be able to select a different preset or whatever you want to call it. Um, so I'm going to right click uh, Filmic and then we're going to hit Assign Shortcut. I'm going to press 1 on my keyboard now. Um, you might be thinking if I press 1, nothing's going on. That's because our cursor has to be in this box over here somewhere. Then we hit 1. Now you can see it pops up, View Transform. We have either Standard, Filmic, Filmic, uh, Log, Raw, or False Color. I'm going to choose, of course, Standard. And now you can see it definitely changes down there. And if I go ahead and hit a Render Viewport Shading on this, um, and I changed my uh, default cube to, let's say, emission solid red here. You can see that we have that nice solid red cube. But if I hit 1 and then change this back to filmic, you can see it does change on the fly as well. Which is exactly what, ooh, jeez. I'm blind. Oh, my God. Um, but that's exactly... <laughs> That's ex exactly what we want. You can do this with many different other keyframes. Uh, keyframes. Many other. Um, I, I don't even know what I'm saying anymore, guys. Uh, many other values as well. So let's say that maybe you wanted to. Let's see another thing you could do. What's another one that you would use? Um, I don't even know. Um, maybe. Does it work with Eevee? It does. So you can change from Eevee to Cycles as well. So you can assign shortcut here. Assign shortcut. We can put this on maybe two. So now anytime I press 2, you can see that we can either pop up EV, Workbench, or Cycles. I can change quickly to EV, and we have uh, so Cycles, sorry. Change quickly to Cycles, and then we can change very quickly back to EV. Very, very cool stuff. Hope you ladies and gentlemen learned something new. Like I said, it doesn't work with everything, but it does work with most boxes. Um, this isn't useful for everything, but like I said, it definitely is useful for something. Like I said, hope you ladies and gentlemen enjoyed it, and especially knowing that you have to have your cursor in this big box over here instead of having it be in the timeline or the, the 3D viewport, sorry. It does have to be over here or else it will not work. And you do not have to be on that page. You can be like on materials, and the, the view transform still works. So, hope you ladies and gentlemen enjoyed it. I will see you in the next one, but until then, bye-bye.